Lots of people struggle with autoloaders. I mean, that's just a fact, because they don't understand the mechanics of autoloading tanks. However, a lot of the things that apply to autoloaders actually apply to driving a normal tank, and in reverse. What applies to driving a normal tank also applies to driving an autoloader, oddly enough. Now I think there are five essential tips, and in this tutorial we're going to look at those tips to improve your autoloader gameplay. Hello again everybody and welcome back to Fujits Blitz and today we're going to look at how to play autoloaders in a guide and tutorial. Now I'm going to focus on five essential tips that I think apply to all types of autoloaders. Every single one of them that's out there, regardless, well, with the exception of probably the Kenny Ox. The thing about autoloaders are they're actually not that dissimilar to normal tanks. The biggest disadvantage that they have, clearly, is the loading between the magazines. Aside from that, driving an autoloader, you need to still employ the same tactics you would use in driving a normal tank. The other thing you need to remember is this, most autoloaders have pretty low armor, with the exception of, say, the Gravedigger. So what's my first tip? Well, this is tip number one. Always have cover nearby. This goes without saying. So this is like any normal tank though. When you are shooting uh, an enemy tank and a normal tank, you don't sit out in the middle of the open and shoot them. You shouldn't do the same thing with an autoloader. You should be looking at your cover because you need to get into cover as soon as you have expended your entire magazine. If you don't, you're going to be in a world of pain. Absolutely essentially because generally your armor is not that great, strictly speaking. But again, this is no different to any other type of tank. Any other type of tank, when you reload, in between reloads, you should be looking for where you are going to hide your tank away from the enemy shooting you. Stands to reason. Autoloaders are no different. Uh, the only difference being is that long reload in between magazines. So once you've emptied your entire magazine into a tank, get into cover, guys. Hide your tank away from the enemy, because if you don't, you're going to get pummeled. It's as simple as that. But as I say, that is no different to a normal tank. If you stick your tank out in the open in between reloads, don't forget, some normal tanks, especially in the Everlines, also have long reloads. Take the Kampfwagen 70. That has a massively long reload. You can get hurt. So always know where your next port of cover is when you're driving an autoloader and try and relocate if you can. Sometimes you can't. Here you can see in the Stuart that I've, I've emptied the full magazine, then I know where my next cover is and I'm relocating all the time. I'm moving so they can't get a hold of me because I'm on a long reload in between. And then once I fired, there we go, empty the clip, get back. Same with this IS-3 Defender. You can see here, I'm on a massively long reload in between the magazines, so I'm trying to stay in as much cover as humanly possible. Because if I don't, I'm going to get hurt. It's, it's that straightforward. Now I'm going to move whilst it's still loading to hopefully get into a position whereby I can start emptying shells onto the enemy targets. Unfortunately, I couldn't in this position. But you get the general idea. Now, like I said, this is a basic skill that you need to understand, not just with autoloaders, but with your normal tanks as well. So let's move on to tip number two. Pick low HP targets first. This one I think is essential. So here we have a friend of mine, Svenny Boy 2, rolling out. And as you can see, he's got three targets. He's got an R44, a KV2, and there's actually a T25. So he focuses the AR out, takes him out. Now he's got the T25, takes him out, emptied his full magazine, backs away into cover. He could have gone for the KV-2, it would have been a disaster. He could have gone for the 25 first, that means the air out takes him out. Now we're going to look at this particular tank. Here we go, he's coming around the corner, he's on low hit points, focus him. There you go, he's wasted. Now I can reload and move to the next target. 
Same here with a good friend of mine. He's rolling out, he's seen the uh, Borsig, changes his mind completely, and then focuses the Type 59 instead. Why? Because he's on a lower hit point. It's a lot better to take those low hit point tanks out first. Here, I know there are tanks to my left. There's a Hetzer, I can get great shots into the Hetzer, so I do. He's now on lower hit points than the tank on my left. So, I'm going to help finish him off, and this is what we do. He's on the lower hit point. There's a tank in front, and there's me behind. We can get rid of this tank easily, without worrying about the other tanks, to be perfectly honest. And he, there he goes. Because if you look at the minimap, we're okay. Here we have two targets. We have an SU uh, on very low health, and we have an M6, uh, sorry, M4 on very big health. So focus the SU. Take the low hit point tank out the game. Why? Because by the time you've done that, you can go back and reload, and you've only got one gun left to face off against. If this is simple stuff, guys. I mean, this is, like I said, this isn't just for autoloaders. Same here. There's a Tiger. You know, a lot of people are focusing him. He's on low hit points because everybody's focusing him. Get rid of him. Get him out the game. The less guns you have, the better it is for you in your auto loader. Now, I've got a T34-1776 there. I've got a Louvre and an IS-6. I make a mistake by going for the T34. I bounce, I reevaluate, and Louvre is the better target now. Forget the T-34. I think about it and then, no, nope, change my mind completely. T-34 gone. We had three tanks against us. Now we have two. Ferdinand's focusing on the theme. Let's have a look at the IS-6. We have three tanks. Now we have one. That's much better. Same here. Um, a friend of mine in the AMX. He's got three tanks in front of him. He thinks about the KV-1. He then thinks about the VK. And then he changes his mind completely completely and focuses the tank with no hit points and boom he's gone instead of facing three tanks he's now only facing two tanks so here we go with the amx 5120 now in a moment we're gonna have five formidable targets we're gonna have an is6 a kb5 a vk 100 p a t44 and a borsig and this is how we're going to deal with it. So we've got five formidable targets. So I see the IS-6 and I think, oh, I'm going to go for the IS-6. But then I change my mind because something catches my eye. And it's the T-44 on half his hit points. Boom, he's gone. Five tanks, now four tanks. I roll back towards the IS-6, put one into him, tell him that we're still here. He's now on half HP. Roll another one, and there he goes. He's on now a third. Here comes the IS-3 defender. Now he's loaded up. He goes straight for the Borsig. So don't forget, we had five targets. We're down to four targets. And now, here goes the Borsig. Go on, Borsig. There you go. Gone. We're now down to three targets. I'm loaded, but I make a mistake. I go a bit too soon. It allows the VK to put one into me. Not to worry. I then target the VK, but then I see the IS-6, so take him out. Three targets. Now two targets. Focus the VK, because we can. And two targets. Now one target. Just the KV left. That's how you do it, guys. Tip number three, don't go solo. This is quite important in an autoloader. If you go solo, you will be isolated when you're changing your magazines. It's, and that's your most vulnerable point. So, it looks like this AMX is very solo, but he's not because the t obviously the, the T-34 is firing at something in front of him. The AMX unloads a clip into the T-34, and there you go, there's a T1 Heavy. <laughs> it's as simple as that. So the AMX is not alone. And between them, they get rid of the T34. Same here. I'm in the M, uh, I'm in the Stuart. I see a Hetzer taking on one of our Hetzers. I get to unload a full clip into him. And as I pan out, you will see there's a Hetzer. And there's two more tanks on my team come to help me out. Again, not a problem. We dispatch the Hetzer in short order. Now, here I roll out in a T69. You'll think I'm on my own here, looking after that Object 704. Well, I'm not, because if you look at the mini-map, you'll see just to my left, there is, an, there is one of my tanks. Okay, it looks like he's, he's fighting with a different tank. Actually, he's not, as you'll see in a moment. So I empty a clip into the Object 704. Now, 
the object 704 is not coming for me, as you can see. I'm hiding behind this rock. I'm aware of my surroundings. I'm looking at the minimap at all times. And I know I've got a VK-45 to my left. And he's now being joined by two others. This allows me to move towards the object. And as you can see, the object is firing at my team. I can then get shots in onto the object. And if you notice, the, somebody else takes a shot and then somebody else kills him. And it's a Borsig. I was not alone. Same here. I'm rolling up in the IS-3 Defender, there's an AMX-50-120, I stick a shot into him, looks like I'm alone, but no, I've got a Louvre and an Object 704 come to help me out. I stick another shot into him, okay, he tracks me, but I'm still okay because I've got a 704 and I've got a Louvre and the AMX is gone. Same here. And then, now, this is not going alone, and what happens when you do go alone in an autoloader? I'm in an IS-3 Defender, next to me is a KV-4. IS-3 Defender on the other team is completely isolated. This allows me to back away. I've got the side of him. He's on his own. Okay, he's got a louver coming in now, but it's too late. He's in a world of hurt. And he's gone. Simple. IS-3 gone. That's a formidable tank out the picture. Now, when you do go alone, as you can see on the minimap, all the enemy and all the reds and all my team are over there. Oh, no, they're not. There's a T-43. Now... That's a bit of a mistake, shouldn't have done it. Why? Because you get wiped out very quickly. But then this is no different to your normal tanks. Tip number four, before you engage, try to have a full magazine. This is important. So I've got two shells still left in my magazine, but I know that all the tanks are there. So I'm gonna empty my magazine. I could have reloaded, but I've forgotten how you do it. Now I'm gonna take the base, wait for my reload, then roll forward to then engage. Unfortunately, I completely bugger it up and only get one shot in anyway. But that one shot counts. Roll back and then reload. This is my friend, the Silent One Reborn. Now, he's got two shots in his magazine as well, but he's going to face off an E100. So he's going to completely reload his magazine because he wants a full mag before he goes into that E100, which is exactly what you should be doing, guys. Now, he's got plenty of cover. Once he's loaded, watch this. He's loaded, he gets into the E100, boom, one clip. Boom, second round. Boom, third round. Okay, the third one bounced, but that's not the point. He did what he should do. Now, when you don't have a full clip, this is what happens. You put a shot in, you miss, and now you're on a reload. That allows the enemy to sort of get shots onto you. Thankfully, this is an electro. So once I'm reloaded, it makes the, the job far easier. Um, I can get behind him and sort him out that way. But it was the first engagement that was important. I only had one shot in that magazine, and it could have put me in a world of pain, to be honest with you. And just to prove that you can be put into a world of pain, we'll have a look at the next clip to prove that point exactly. So here we go. I've got two shots in the clip, in the magazine. Uh, I haven't got a full magazine. I think, oh, it's pretty easy. He's on low hit points, but he's formidable. He bounces the first, bounces the second. Now I am in a world of harm. He's going to have a better reload than me. This came out a lot better than I expected. I was managed to wipe him out. Same with the SU-100. I've only got one shot in my magazine. I roll up, look at the SU-100, put a shot in, get a shot, then I have to pull away. I am now effectively useless. Same here. Now, same in the AMX again. Roll in, I've only got two shots. Bounce the first one, roll back, and then miss the second one. Now I am in a world of pain. This was a massive mistake I made because I shouldn't have done this. This T-54 is now going to be able to farm free hit points from me. It's as simple as that. I have put myself in a really bad position. I'm on a long reload. He has taken over half my hit points. Okay, now I've reloaded, I can move back in. But that was a terrible thing to do on my part, and you know I, I'm left with 247 hit points. Okay, we wipe him out, but that's not the point. Big, big, big error. This isn't, this is also an area, so he's got one clip left, he's got one shot left in his magazine, but a shot, and then, oop, got to get out of there, and his teammate dies. That's how it happens. He's had to disengage, because he's, he's, on his, he's on his long reload. Next up, tip number five. 
try to unload a full clip into the same target. Here's my friend, the Silent One Reborn. Look at the M48 pattern. Okay, he misses the first shot. Boom. And boom again. He's gone. Full clip into the pattern. Pattern gone. This is another good friend of mine rolling out in his AMX. Um, as you can see, he's seen a target. It's the uh, it's the Borsig. Boom. Number one. Boom. Number two. Boom. Number three. Easy kill. Allows his teammate to just finish him off. This is where you get your maximum burst damage, guys. Really good friend of mine, um, Kraz Bayer. She, on the Russian server, she's going to unload a full magazine into this poor Death Star. Um, there it goes. Because whilst you've got good damage individual shells, your burst damage is massive. That's the idea of an autoloader. Maximize the burst damage. So that's 300, that's 500. There you go, that's 800 out of that T-34. One clip, one magazine, sorry. Here we have uh, another good friend of mine in his AMX. He's found a KV. One, two, there you go. He's put in, what, over, uh, almost, he's, he's done 400 there on his magazine. He's reloading. KV doesn't seem to be very interested, but hey, not a problem. We'll just unload another full magazine into you. So now he's done 600. Now it's 700, sorry, 800. And somebody out, and he, he finally wipes them out gets a full tank. What happens when you don't unload your clip into the same, <laughs> your magazine into the same target? Well, this, I'm afraid. So I've missed the first shot. I'm against a T-49. This is really bad gameplay. Miss the first shot, roll forward. Miss the second shot, continue to roll forward. The T-49 gets one into me, and I finally get the third shot. That's only 200. So I've lost 400 burst damage, apparently. You know, now I'm on a long reload. He's on a long reload too. If it wasn't for the LTTB, I would be dead. Big, big error. Avoid these type of errors. So in recap, always have cover close by. Focus those low hit point targets first. Try not to go solo. Try to have a full magazine before you engage and always aim to get that burst damage. Guys, those are my five tips for playing auto loaders. I hope it's been useful. I hope you can take something away from this. By all means, comment and like below. If you feel I've missed anything that's important in playing an autoloader, by all means, tell me, let me know. If you've got any decent replays of you playing autoloaders, or if you've just got any decent replays of you getting aces, or any games that you feel people should see, by all means, send them to me at fujitsblitz at gmail.com. And if you haven't pressed it yet, please press subscribe, because it's a nice thing to do. Whilst these five tips are for autoloaders, don't forget guys, you can also employ them with basic driving skills on your tanks and they should be with the exception of maximizing your burst damage. Just remember that. Anyway, until the next time guys, I shall stay. Stay safe out there, have fun on the battlefield and happy tanking because you know, that's what it's all about. Having fun and being happy.